can a chromosomally abnormal embryo correct itself once it is in a woman's uterus? This is Dr. Prathi Sharma, double board certified OBGYN and REI. Chromosomally abnormal embryos do end up traveling through the fallopian tube and coming to the uterus in a natural conception cycle. And occasionally during an IVF and embryo transfer cycle, we will transfer what are called mosaic embryos. Let's talk about the first scenario. When an egg fertilizes with the sperm, it is possible that it'll be either an abnormal egg or an abnormal sperm creating an abnormal embryo. Generally, these embryos are identified by the uterus and the human body as being abnormal. They will either not implant or end up in an early miscarriage, or occasionally you will find out that these pregnancies are abnormal at the 10 week prenatal screening test called the NIPT. If an embryo is potentially conceived naturally and it is mosaic, yes, there are ways that the embryo can what we call autocorrect. And this is whereby the abnormal cells are pushed out of the embryo and the normal cells take over the embryo. Now we see this phenomenon occur when we transfer mosaic embryos with IVF and frozen embryo transfer. When the percentage of abnormal cells in a genetically tested or PGTA tested embryo is very low, we call these low level mosaics, and we agree upon after counseling with the patient to transfer the embryo back in the uterus, sometimes because there are not any other genetically normal embryos left to transfer. This is how we counsel the patient. We say that there is a fair chance that the embryo can self-correct and that the normal cells will take over and this, this can produce a viable, healthy pregnancy. Now, it must be said that mosaic embryos do have a higher chance of miscarriage if the abnormal cells take over and we do recommend intense prenatal screening at least within NIPT and oftentimes with the CBS or amniocentesis to confirm that the pregnancy is genetically normal.